do are you going to fight with what God has given you he's already given us the victory are you want to take a hold of the victory that God has given you or you want to give it aside willingly praise the Lord to all the churches and pastors in the AFFI district one council we greet you in the matchless and wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Amen. Hoping that your year so far has been uh, successful in spite of the uncertainties and difficulties we face so far. On behalf of my wife, Lady Ann Bradshaw, and myself, we'd like to greet you once again in the name of Jesus and wish you peace and grace from God our Father. I would like to have met with you as we had planned before the pandemic, but we still have to wait until things settle down. And I trust that we'll get there. If we stand firm in the gospel and move forward, looking unto him who is able to keep us, I believe we'll get there soon. As we prepare for our spring council, and the theme for it is apostolic standing strong in the faith, the truth is we'll make it through this time of pandemic, time of racial reckoning, and in our country, division. Amen. If we continue to watch, amen, and to stand fast, and don't waver, remain strong, we will make it through together sustained by the love of God. May that love of God sustain us. May God uphold us and bless us and love you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord everybody. Again, this is Bishop Watkins and I pray that you are having a wonderful time at this powerful council. Amen. Where the theme is apostolic standing strong in the faith. Isn't the word powerful? The word is powerful. Amen. And this is the time that we need to stand strong. We're being hit on every side with trials and tribulations, pandemics. Everything's going wrong in the world. But guess what? The word of God is still good and still powerful. And I believe if you'll come and continue to be a blessing, amen, with us, join with us in these services, you're going to be blessed and the Lord is going to magnify your strength and you're going to be strong in the faith. Because the Bible said without faith, it's impossible to please him. God bless you. We love you today in Jesus name. Come on and bless that wonderful name of Come on and bless that wonderful name of Jesus Bless that wonderful name of Jesus There is no other name I know well, Come on bless that wonderful name of Jesus Bless that wonderful name of Jesus Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. There is no other name I know. There is no other name. There is no other name. There is no other name I know. There is no other name. There is no other name. There is no other name I know. Well, bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. There is no other name I know. Now come on, everybody, clap your hands. Come on, this is a young people's event. We can clap our hands and give God some glory. Yeah, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend, well, can't nobody do me like Jesus, can't nobody do me like the Lord, can't nobody do me like Jesus, said he's my friend, well, can't nobody do me like Jesus, can't nobody the Lord can't nobody do me like Jesus said he's my friend yeah, can't nobody do me like Jesus can't nobody do me like 
Jesus. Yeah. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Yeah. There's, there's nobody, nobody. Oh, there's nobody, nobody. Yeah. There's nobody, nobody. Said there's nobody, nobody. Yeah, nobody, 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 nobody like Jesus. Nobody like Jesus. Nobody like Jesus. Nobody like Jesus. Nobody, nobody, nobody that can pray. Nobody that can heal. Nobody, 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 nobody. That can save nobody that can deliver nobody nobody yeah. I said nobody nobody I said nobody nobody yeah. nobody nobody I said nobody nobody yeah. nobody 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 Nobody, 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 nobody. Come on and let's give God some glory. Yes, I got it. Everlasting life. Yes, I got it. Everlasting life. I said, Yes, I got it. Everlasting life. I said, Yes, I got it. 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 Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. I said, Yes, I got it. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Everlasting life. Oh, everlasting life. Yeah, everlasting life. Oh, everlasting life. Yeah, everlasting life. Oh, everlasting life. Oh, everlasting life. Oh, everlasting life. So come on and give me. I'm happy to be in the house of God on a Friday night. Yeah, God is a good God. I know God is a good God. I know God is a good God. I know God is a good God.
on, young people. That's right. Clap your hands. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Come on and stomp your feet. Clap your hands. Praise the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's all stand on our feet right now. All the young people. Let's stand to our feet. Let's just praise the Lord. Let's take a few moments right now. Let's praise the Lord. You came on out today. You might as well lift up your hands and give God a praise. He's been kept you all week. He didn't kept you in good health. There's no, you, you, you haven't, you haven't been in any kind of car wrecks. You haven't suffered from COVID. God is a good God. He deserves his praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, lift up your hands all over this place on tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, young people. Praise the Lord, young people. Praise the Lord, young people. We can do a little better than that. Praise the Lord, young people. Hallelujah. God is a good God. There's nobody like him. The song says, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, when I think of, a, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, that's just not a good thing to say. It just, it, it just doesn't sound good. When you really think about what the Lord has done for you in your life, it should be enough to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank him on today. I don't know about you, but God has been good. He deserves his praise. Should have been cut off a long time ago. But God in his mercy, God in his mercy, in his infinite mercy, God is long-suffering toward us. When we come into his house, we should have a praise on our lips. We should be ready to magnify his name. There is nobody like our God. There is nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to move forward in our service. You all may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for being here on today. Before, you know, you know before we move forward, I do want to say it's a beautiful thing to see young people gathered in the house of the Lord. That might be a small thing to some people, but it's a big deal in this day and time. Seeing young people on fire for the Lord is much needed because we can reach a generation that our elders possibly can't reach. So when we find ourselves in our place, when we find ourselves walking in the spirit, results are going to happen and we'll be able to touch those in our peer group. So be encouraged on tonight. We thank God for gathering us here on today. And it's, it's a marvelous thing. I always get, I'm a young man myself, but I enjoy seeing young people around my age group on fire for the Lord, giving God praise. It's, 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 I mean, it's, it's a beautiful thing, beautiful thing, especially nowadays, young people don't want to be in church altogether. So for you to have a mind, you should be grateful. You should be thankful unto the Lord for, for having you here on today. So without further ado, first, I want to acknowledge our presiding bishop, Bishop Charles Johnson. We want to acknowledge our diocesan Bishop Alfonso Bratcher. We also want to acknowledge our uh, council chairman and his assistant, Bishop Charles Watkins and Bishop, no, Bishop Philip Watkins and Bishop Joseph Marcus. We thank God for them. We thank God for them. We also want to acknowledge our, our Afaya District 1 Youth President, Minister Venus King. 
Also her assistant, Minister Alan Hollis. We thank God for them, for their dedication, and for their, you know, and, and, and just for the work that they're doing, especially during this pandemic. It's so easy to get discouraged, but they are still pressing on. We thank God for you all. At this time, we're going to have the scripture reading from Sister Tamara Sinez, after which she'll be followed by Minister Carla Moore for the script, for, for, for the prayer. Sorry about that. You can come in that order. God bless you. Lord everyone thank you Jesus um, today we're going to be coming out of Romans the 8th chapter and verse 18 when you got it please say I got it okay <laughs> for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us If all hearts and minds are clear. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for today, God. We thank you for keeping us all throughout the day. We thank you for travel and mercies. We thank you for another opportunity to gather as we are, God, whether we are one of the few in person, whether we are watching this service virtually, we thank you for the mind to even want to be a part. We're asking that you have your way on tonight. We're asking that you have your way through every part of this service, oh God. We're praying that you be with the musicians, God. We're praying, oh God, that you be with the MC, oh God. We're praying that you be with praise and worship, God. We're praying that you be with the speaker we're praying oh god that all flesh be set down from the pulpit to the back of the to the back pew god that any flesh in their homes in their cars wherever they be watching we're praying oh god that we all humble ourselves and hear what it is that you have to say to us on tonight that we all humble ourselves and offer you something that is worthy to be offered until you offer you a sacrifice of praise offer you a sacrifice of worship oh god i pray that whatever we may be going through however life may be going on whatever weight we may be dealing with god not be our focus on tonight God we're praying on God that we magnify you above it all magnify you above sickness magnify you above lack magnify you up against up, over backbiting magnify you over life and so in order that you may have your way God we're praying on God that everyone every hearer every watcher of this service be blessed that they have that they be strengthened that anyone that is going through that they feel a, a reason to go on the reason to push anyone dealing with anything suicidal or depression or weight whatever we're praying God the weight be lifted any back slider that may come across this service God I'm praying oh God that they make the decision today to come back to you God anyone yet to be born again anyone yet to be baptized we're praying that tonight be the chance and that they reach out to the reach out to the number that is posted reach out to whomever they can get a hold of that will baptize them in your name and work with them in order that we may feel be filled with the Holy Ghost above all else we're just asking that you have your way in Jesus name amen yeah at this present time we're gonna go before the Lord with our praise and worship so let's all stand on my let's all stand on our feet let's receive our praise team and let's get on in the service let's sing along to the songs let's clap our hands and let's give god the glory come on and put your hands together if god has been a shelter in the time of storm we bless your name jesus Oh, Lord, you are my shelter. You're 
thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Forever, I love you. Forever, I love you. Forever, Lord. Raise your voice and say, I love you. Forever, yeah. I love you. Do you love me, Lord?
on one more time. So wrap me in your arms, Jesus. Wrap me in your arms. You are my shelter. You are my shelter. Throughout the pandemic, the Lord, you kept me, Jesus. We love When nobody was dependable, Lord. you give my testimony first oh give thanks yes. unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever this I recall to my mind therefore have I hope that it is of the Lord's mercy that we're not consumed because his compassion faileth not fail not they're new every morning great is God's faithfulness and I'm so grateful to be here today. I'm grateful for the Lord bringing me out of my surgery. Yes. A month out. I'm grateful. Because can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's faithful. Our God is a healer. He's a deliverer. Give God the glory. And we're going to praise him with you. In Jesus' name. This is Tamara. I just want to thank God for all that he has been doing in this pandemic. Um, I never expected this pandemic to help me the way it has. I just wanted it to be over with, but um, God has been helping me to really appreciate, you know, the area that I'm in in life and to really be happy, like to have real joy. Because I was in church for about like almost five years and a, almost five years and a half, and I didn't know what joy was. But as he started to deal with my heart and um, our bishop Joseph Marcus he started to preach on love and charity 
it really showed me it really as I started to listen to his words and try to put it into action God has really showed me how to be happy because you know a lot of times we go through things in life and it messes us up or it changes our attitude and just discourages us or people discourage us but God is always like he's trying to bring me back to that focus of being happy like really genuinely being happy so I just want to thank God for that how many of y'all are grateful for God's no sometimes he's keeping us from things danger seen and unseen and we want to just run and do whatever but I'm grateful too for his no and I'm grateful that God will uplift us and encourage us and say listen I have purpose for you so it's okay that you're unique it's okay that you're different I got something just for you so I'm grateful for that for both the testimonies anybody got a testimony okay God bless Praise for the peace that surpasses of all understanding we thank God for everything thus far the Lord saints of God hallelujah come on let's give him glory sometimes it's good just to pause a little bit not about me not about what you've done for me but just Lord I just want to thank you I want to give you what you want Lord God so let's take the opportunity come on and sacrifice your comfort sacrifice hallelujah your feeling of people looking at you and your feeling of whatever and let's just take the time because some of us hallelujah even this year we're like Lord I'm done hallelujah but God said no and I thank God hallelujah Jesus for the no hallelujah some of us hallelujah didn't know what to do Lord I can't get peace but God said I will be your peace not like the world give peace but I will give you peace that pass all understanding hallelujah some of us hallelujah didn't know hallelujah how to hold on how to continue how to encourage ourselves what to do but God said I'll be what you can't be I'll become what you need I'll be your I am no matter what you're in so we're going to sacrifice come on let's open up our mouths let's open it up because I don't get opportunities like this hallelujah I praise God for virtual services and being with the saints on zoom but I love to see your face, hallelujah. I love to hear your voice. I love to see your worship, hallelujah. Something about the saints, hallelujah, when we come to worship. Songwriter says, that's when deliverance takes place. Oh, when the saints go to worship, hallelujah. Miracles happen, hallelujah. The past is erased, hallelujah. When the saints go to worship, so take your time and give your God the praise that he's due. I mean, I, I'm trying to understand what's going on. Have you all been in service? Like, do you go to service often? Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to act a little crazy. I'm going to be honest. I want to jump up. Hallelujah. I want to do a cartwheel. I want to do a couple of things because I'm with the saints of God. There's power in this place. Hallelujah. To hear the musicians praise the Lord to hear testimonies and why are we still pumping what what's what's going on 2020 didn't happen why am i still trying to encourage you to worship a god that's worthy turn it down just a little bit for me hallelujah why is it but keep going hallelujah you're fine just it's loud hallelujah hallelujah what's going on what's going on saints hallelujah has he been good did he break you through? Or is he a new year God? And you only worship him in January of consecration. Hallelujah. What type of God do you serve? Show him. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you something. I don't come here to play around. I come here to give God glory. Hallelujah. Even while I'm doing the offering, I come to give God some praise. Hallelujah. Because he's a worthy God. Don't you miss it. Don't miss your day of visitation. I am both seat I am not the preacher. But we when we get together, we exhort each other. So I'm exhorting you. Don't miss it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, um, program 
And you know, um, what is that the, in small writing? Even though we don't have a program, it's subject to change. So I'm just letting you know that right now. I was, I grew up on subject to change. Hallelujah. If God's going to deliver us, I don't care. Program is subject to change. Hallelujah. So get your praise. Don't you leave here and say, I wish I would have lifted my hands. I wish I would have ran a little bit. I wish I would have gave God glory. What was wrong with me? Hallelujah. Why didn't I give him what he's worthy of? Oh, Jesus. Oh. I'm going to tell y'all this. And my bishop going to be listening to this recording. I told one of the saints, when we get back in the greater morning star, I'm going to have to give him an insurance check because I'm tearing stuff up. Hallelujah. When I get in there, he's going to be looking like crumble bricks in his hand. What you do to my church? I'm sorry. But when the saints come to worship, hallelujah. I'm just playing, Bishop. I won't tear it up too much. I'll clean it up after I do it. Hallelujah, Jesus. God is good. Hallelujah. That's all right. That's all right. Hallelujah. Even on the recording, he's still good. Even on the recording, he's worthy. offering like this hallelujah you get people right there give it to you hallelujah thank you jesus right now it's offering time now you can praise him i'm just gonna give the announcement praise the lord everybody and thank you for tuning in to afi district one's virtual council it's offering time and there are multiple ways for you to give first you can visit the AFFI District 1 website, click the Donate tab, and use the PayPal. We do accept all of these types of cards. Or option number two, open the cash shop on your phone, type in your dollar amount, and send to dollar sign AFFID1. Remember, Luke 638 says, Give! and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. Go ahead, take a few moments to sow into this ministry. Don't forget to tune back in when you're done giving.
thank you for your support. We now return to AFFI District 1's Virtual Council. Let's receive the MC again in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You ain't got to stop. You can praise him if you want to. That sounded like what we needed. All we needed was a little encouragement tonight. Seemed like a few of us are down tonight. But when you come into the house of the Lord, you don't have to leave the same way you came. You can come into this house and get what you came for. Hallelujah. 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 That's it. Come on and praise him. Open up your mouth. Hallelujah. He's a good God. The Lord is in this place right now. Come on. Reach out to him and talk to him. Open up your mouth. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's not I come and be in vain. When the Lord manifests his presence in this place, that's your time to reach out. You don't have to wait till the altar call. He's not a God of program. God are coming and miss right in the middle of the program. Yeah, we're going to follow protocol and those things. Yeah, we're going to social distance. But when the Holy Ghost shows up, God is looking for you to move. God is looking for some, he's looking for some faith. Oh yeah, don't miss your, when God shows up, don't miss out. Don't you miss out. He's a good God. Don't you miss out. He wants to deliver. This is one place where you can come and you can get an answer to your unanswered questions. This is a place where you can come. If you're feeling down, you can receive some encouragement. Don't let your, don't let your coming be in vain. This is the house of God. If you had enough faith to come, Come and get what you've been looking for. Hallelujah. And while the spirit is still moving in this place, we're going to receive our praise team one more time. After which, we're going to have our, we'll have our president to come and introduce the speaker for tonight. So let's receive our praise team in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're just going to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 He's worthy of the glory. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Savior, you never fail, you hold all power, there's never a challenge or a need to worry, we always win, you're great, and there's no one like you, you're true. None compares to you, great. Yes, yes. And there's no one like you. You're never ending, never ending, great. Oh, sing with me. 
Hallelujah. Almighty Savior, you never fail. You hold our power. There's never a challenge or a need to worry. We always win. Jesus, we give you the honor, Jesus. Hallelujah. Worship Hallelujah. him like you know him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. No sickness is greater than you. There is no power. No power is greater than you.
Praise the Lord for Mount Calvary. Hallelujah, Jesus. One thing I love about them, because they have, they hold a special place in my heart. I mean, all of you all do. All of you all have wonderful. I love them because Minister Carla texted me and was like, whatever you need us to do, we'll do it. I don't get texts like that very often. I'm be honest. <laughs> that was my, that might have been the second one. <laughs> that I've gotten but you know to have saints of God that are willing to come and they are Eastern Shore oh, how many hours did it take two hours to get here Just let that sink in real good because Lord's willing we're gonna be going over there and don't 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 change you get over there talking about oh two hours they've been doing that since council hallelujah so we want to acknowledge those that make those types of sacrifices that it's not without our seeing and our appreciation what you do that's not easy i can tell you that because i've had to drive over there hallelujah and that bridge is real hallelujah <laughs> i ain't afraid of heights but it's still real hallelujah but um i thank god for this part of the service before um, I go there, I do want to say thanks to my friend Antoine, Minister Antoine Allen. Um, he has been, we have become friends and have connected and he is a man that I respect. I respect his wife. I respect what they do and discernment amongst the youth. If you all have not seen this brother, I've never seen anyone like conduct and facilitate and I mean the questions that he that he's asking, I'm like, dang, I wouldn't have thought of that. Like, whoa, you know, I you know I have my little questions like how how are you? You know, <laughs> he's coming like okay from the depths of the word and the root. You know, I mean he <laughs> goes deep and it is so beneficial and it's a blessing. Um, so uh, yeah, um, this Saturday at seven, hallelujah, we have some saints here that are going to be on that panel. Um, so take an opportunity to go and, um, well, I, I go via YouTube, um, discernment amongst youth and see what he's doing. And it's, you know, as young people, as apostolics, we can research, we can, you know, inquire and report and, you know, learn more about who we are and the people that make us who we are, you know. So I am truly grateful for his stance and for his desire to want to do the will of God. So thank you. I know it's not easy during this time. You're a husband and you got kids and I appreciate you all that have families that have come out. It, look, you are our superheroes, for real, for real. So um, I thank the Lord for this part of the service. Um, I love the word of God. I love the word and I love his people. Um, what was supposed to happen today was that we we're gonna have two speakers um, and my assistant isn't here because and this is why I respect him so much. He needed to be with his family. There were some things going on, um, an emergency that happened this week. So I'm asking you to pray for him. That
that God give him strength because he's working and, you know, he's ministering and he's taking care of his parents. And I mean, and he's young and he's been doing this for a while. So I've always admired him and his sister and to see them sacrifice. Um, and, you know, he didn't want to, but he was like, you know, Venus, pray for me and, you know, let me pray and ask the Lord and, you know, the Lord let him know to sit this time out, but you will hear from him next counsel, Lord's willing. So keep minister Alan Hollis in your prayers. Keep him in your prayers. We're young, we're resilient, but we still get hurt. <laughs> we get hurt and we feel it. Um, so at this time, because you all know I'm a talker by now. Hallelujah. Morning star know it. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, I'm truly, truly thankful and grateful for the Lord for this speaker. She is my best friend. She is, we call each other ride or die. She is. She'll tell me what I need to hear. And, um, and I tell her what she need to hear. You know, <laughs> we do that. And the Lord has been doing some very mighty things through her. And some of you who were on the Zoom Friday heard a little bit, felt it. I felt it because the Holy Ghost pushed me. I said, bam, I've never been pushed by the Holy Ghost. And it pushed me. And I was like, okay, I'm moving. Like, you know, you got to push that hard. So, but it pushed. <laughs> and the Lord came in and used her. And the Lord told me, use her. And it's not because we are friends. I go by what the Holy Ghost says. And if the Holy Ghost says, use this person, then that's what I'm doing. I'm using that person. So um, it is an honor and a privilege to introduce Minister Destiny Bell, all the way from St. Mary's County. Hallelujah. Representing with the Amish. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> we bless you for her. Let's receive her in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad therein. I am first giving honor to the Lord who is the head of my life, who is my Savior, who is my King, and also giving honor to our diocesan bishop, to our presiding prelate, and everyone else in the respective places, to Minister Venus King, our fire president. We say praise the Lord. And um, for your reading, for your hearing, I will be reading from Luke chapter 8, verses 11 through 13. And the word of the Lord reads, And he said unto you, it is given to the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand, now the parable is this, the seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear, then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they which hear, when they hear, excuse me, receive the word with joy. And these have no root, which for a while believe and in time of temptation fall away. That's Luke again, 8, 11 through 13. And the next verse for your hearing is Hebrews 9, 28. So Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many and unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. And we're going to pray on um, prayer too. Lord, oh God, I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this day. Oh God, Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, I'm asking, oh God, that you have your way, Lord Jesus. Lord, that you speak, Lord, to the hearts of your people. Lord, you know what your people stand in need of. Lord, I'm asking, oh God, that you have your way. Lord, you receive the glory. You are the king. Oh God, you are the star of the show. Oh God, you are our savior. And we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. So this past Sunday, while I was driving, um, the Lord allowed me to look up and I saw five birds on a light pole um, and they were black vultures. And the interesting thing was their wings were spread and there were about three of them grouped together, two by the side. And I was like, you know, kind of looking like, what are you looking at? You know, what's, what's laying around dead? And as I kept driving about another mile or two, I saw about 10 to 15 birds just circling in the air. And 
of course we know usually when we see birds circling it means they're looking for something they're waiting something's about to die off and you know at the time the lord had let me know to you know pull over and pray so that's what I did and you know at that time the Lord was just letting me know that's what the enemy is looking to do he's seeking and he's literally circling to see if there's any gaps he's looking to see if there's any weaknesses he's looking and he's searching but even in that the Lord is covering us and what he was showing in me and in, in that was that we need to have deep roots in God that we need to become rooted and planted in God because see what happens is the enemy comes and then we're thrown off course and we don't know what to do and we forget the words that the Lord has spoken over our lives and the promises that God has given us so even in that the Lord was letting me know that you have to hold on to the word of the Lord when it comes we receive it with joy and we take it and we're happy and we're joyous and then temptation comes and we forget we lean and it's like God I know you said it. I don't remember did you forget who I am did you forget what I said? And that's what the Lord was just reminding me, no matter what's going on, and yes, the enemy is going to come and he's going to attack and he's going to attempt, but do you know who they, who you serve? Do you know who I am? Do you know what I've done for you? Do you know that I can breathe life into your body? into a lifeless body I can bring someone back from the dead it's not just in the book for us to read about and say oh that's one such a wonderful thing to read about wow God no he's able to do it he's able to raise the dead he's able to heal the sick it's in there for us to take a hold of it and what the enemy doesn't want us to do is he doesn't want us to take a hold of God's word because what happens is when you take a hold of it you become excited you're like oh God you said what you can do what we take a hold of that so my encouragement to you is to take a hold of the word and this isn't necessarily a turn to your neighbor but a moment lord in my prayer closet when i get home lord help me and this is my prayer too help me to be deep, um, deeply rooted and planted in you lord so when the enemy comes he doesn't find anything in me help me to stand in you because lord it's get i don't know if y'all see it's getting dark out here it's getting real dark out here and there's some things we started to see that we never thought we would see before what does that mean god it's time for me to stand if i never stood before it's really time to stand now it's really time to take a hold and when we come there's a wedding feast there's a wedding are you going to come to the wedding without your garments are you going to come without your garment are you going to come unprepared he's preparing a table will you be there will you be ready and yes we believe in jesus name we believe in the baptism yes we believe in the holy ghost but after that we have to walk it we have to walk it and that's what it is for us we have to walk it so yes we have that and we praise god and we thank god for the foundation of that but it's time for us to grow in god it's time for us to stand in god because there are things that the lord is assigning for us to do and we can't stand around with our work undone and it's not just behind here but it's out there what are we doing out there is our lives a witness for the lord can people look at us and not to glory in ourselves but to say okay it's something different what is god doing in your life who is he who is this person that you're speaking of that's what we have to ask the lord to help us with that's the thing we have to seek the lord and that's until he returns that's the thing if we don't keep anything else on our minds the word has already said those who are looking for his appearing and it's not just the oh lord i thought i heard you. Wait, wait is that you not just that or we get scared because who uh you know i was looking for my friend and they didn't answer the phone i thought the rapture took place no it's not just that things. it's not we gotta stand on this thing we gotta live this thing there's a requirement on our lives it's not just a thing to say but god has exposed us and given us truth everybody does not have truth everybody does not have this so while we have we got to take a hold of this thing we have to walk in it god is expecting and requiring of us to stand in his word and that's not just in front yes it's nice to see and praise the lord but that's at home in our prayer closet that's at home in our word that's at home when we're praying and fasting and nobody else is there that's where we're made at when the trials and tests come in our life that's where the making is at it's not necessarily yes we receive the word and we take it but it's made at home it's made at home when you are by yourself at night and the enemy is coming to attack 
What are you going to do? Are you going to fight with what God has given you? He has already given us the victory. Are you going to take a hold of the victory that God has given you? Or are you going to give it aside willingly? No, we will not give our victory aside. We are waiting for his return. We will stand. And if you got to remind yourself that in the mirror, when you stand, Lord, I'm going to stand. I am going to stand until your return. Lord, I don't care what my friends do. I don't care what my family do. I don't care what anybody else does. You got to make up. Look, work out your own salvation. That's what it is. We got to walk this thing. Can't look to the left and to the right. Lord, my eyes have to be upon you. Lord, my vision has to be on you. Lord, help me to see. Lord, help me to hear. Help me to understand. And I'm telling you, God will do it. He will open our eyes to things that we walk by every day. And it's like, nobody else caught that. But God is able to reveal just the things and the mysteries of God. Those are reserved for us. Those things that we haven't even read about that God will expose to us. God is able to do that. Do you not know? Yes, the Bible was written, but there's things that God is going to be doing in your life. That's not even, oh, I can't turn the page and say, okay, this is what the Lord did in Carla's life. This is what the Lord did in Brianna's life. But there's things that the Lord has reserved for you. There are things that the Lord promises. And is yes, it's great to have the promises, but there's a requirement. Are you going to live the life that it takes to get what he has spoken? Are we going to live what he's telling us to do? So I encourage you just as you're going, as you're going about life, just remember the Lord and the things that you're doing. He is the one that our focus has to be on. And I would just say this. It's time for us to examine ourselves. It's time for us to examine ourselves. And it's good for us to worship and praise God when we come in the building. It is a beautiful thing. But our lives have to match our worship. Our lives have to match. That is our worship. And that is what God is requiring out of us. What is your worship when you are home by yourself? What is your worship unto me? Or do you worship on Sundays and you leave me? Do you just leave me? You don't know who I am for the rest of the week? Do you just leave me and I'm talking and I'm waking you up and you don't even want to be bothered with me? You don't want to speak to me unless it's convenient to you. You don't want to be bothered with me unless there's something I can do for you. But how about just loving me for who I am? How about loving me for the sacrifice? that I made for your life how about loving me because I am victorious and I am the giver of life how about loving me for who I am so I encourage you again we got to stand we got to trust God we have to do this thing and it's nice to say and we know without holiness no man shall see the Lord it's not just a saying it's not just a verse but God is requiring that out of us and I know it's not oh I'm going to get up and jump on this. Sometimes we got to sit still and listen sometimes. And this is to me. It's not just coming to everybody else's door. This comes to my door too. We have to sit and receive the Lord, the word and ask the Lord, Lord, am I found in you? Lord, am I found without spot, wrinkle, or blemish? Is there anything in me that needs to be removed? Lord, I'm asking you to purify me. I'm asking you, oh God, to burn it out of me. Whatever it is that is unlike you, burn it out, Jesus. Lord, I want to be available. I don't want to walk after the flesh. I want to walk after the spirit. I don't want it to just be a thing to say because it's a nice saying and it sounds deep. No, but I want to know you. Not as, oh, you know, your friend, just a friend. But I want to be a confidant. I want to be this person. You know, you, I go to you for everything. Like the things that people may think are small, I'm seeking you for. I'm relying on you. The Lord tells us to acknowledge him in all of our ways. Are we doing that? Are we acknowledging him in the decisions and the choices that we're making? Are we laying before him and asking him his will for our life? And are we walking? Are we willing to be obedient to the things that the Lord has spoken? Because all disobedience is sin. So it's required. So I love you, saints of God. That's what the Lord has told me to say. So that's what I give unto you. And I love you all with the love of the Lord. But let's go higher in the Lord. Let's reach deeper. Let's grow rooted and planted in God. So again, when the enemy comes, that there's nothing found in us. In Jesus' name. Can we clap our hands for the word of God on tonight? Rich, rich, sober word. Sometimes the Lord wants to just have a fireside chat with us. Sometimes he just wants to sit back and 
talk with us. Sometimes he doesn't want us to get caught up in the noise, caught up in the shout, caught up in the dance, because it's so easy to get caught up in that and not receive the substance that he wants us to receive. Beautiful word on tonight from Minister Bell. She said we, she said, hold on to the word, don't forget his word. Why do we have to do that? Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of the Lord. Their faith is not coming any kind of way. Praise, shouting, dancing, that's good. God wants us to rejoice. But without holding to his word, without meditating on the word, without walking in the word, when, when the doors are closed, when the lights are shut off, when you lay down the bed at night, it's the word that's going to keep you. It's the word that's going to sustain you. Tonight, that's exactly what we need. It was like soft rain tonight. The Lord sent a word tonight that we can receive and meditate on. We got to meditate on this word. Let's not receive it and rejoice at it when it first comes. But on your ride home, when you lay down tonight, you got to meditate on this. Now you got something to pray about tonight. If you didn't have nothing to pray about tonight, the word came forth. She also said, are our lives a witness? You know, the word of God is so versatile. Not only does it come to cleanse us, not only does it come to uh, make us refreshed, but the word of God is here to warn us as well. The word of God wants to warn us. It wants to remind us that we have work to do. Are our lives a witness? What does our life look like when we leave the church? What does our life look like when we're on the job as young people? What does our life look like when we just go into the store? What does our lives look like when we're alone at home, scrolling through our phones? We have to consider these things. Because at any time, we don't know when the Lord's going to come. We don't know when he's going to crack the sky. We cannot take these days for granted, especially in the days and times we live in there. So much turmoil in the world. It's so easy to get lax. We're not in, we're not in uh, the physical loca you know, location of the church as often as we would like to. We're doing this service virtually. It's so easy to flick off, uh, the, you know, it's so easy to turn off the social, uh, you know, turn off the service, watch something else. It's so easy to watch another church that's going to preach something to make your flesh feel good. But tonight is exactly what we needed. Don't you know the Lord sent his word tonight? And if you got enough faith to believe he sent his word, God will reward you for responding to his word. She also said, are you going to fight? After we hear the word, what is the Lord doing? He's sharpening our sword. We got something to fight with. We got something to fight the enemy with on tonight. God sends fresh manna. When they were in the wilderness, what? Fresh manna. And that's what God wants us to, that's what God wants to do. When we come to his house, he wants to send fresh manna. He wants to, us to feed on his word. That's the most important thing. After the songs, after the music gets to pumping, after we finish doing our dance, our lives have to match up with the word. Our shout has to match up with the word. Our singing has to match up with the word. Our relationships with one another has to match up with the word. We must hold on to the word. When the word comes, let us not forget. Don't let the enemy snatch the word from you. When temptation comes, don't let the enemy knock you down. The word is substance. You can actually hold fast to the word. You can actually believe God's word. God's word, when it comes, it's not here just to cut and slice and leave you there. After it cuts, it wants to soothe you. And don't be distracted by how calm it was. I know sometimes we want that powerful word. We want somebody to say something that's going to make us jump and flip around the benches. But sometimes this word right here, sometimes this is the best word. When Elijah was in, uh, you know, when he was on the run, there was an earthquake. Hurricane, she said hurricane. But what happened? Do y'all know what happened? Still, saw, still small voice. A still small voice. Yeah, you didn't shout. Yeah, you didn't scream and ruha. But the word came. Do you ever hear to hear? Did you hear something tonight that's gonna help you on your way? God sent His word tonight. He spoke to our hearts, and He's looking for us to receive it. So let's receive that word. Let's walk in it. As you go down the road, meditate on that. Please meditate on it, because I know I am. I got my portion on tonight, and I thank God for that. And at this time, we're going to turn the service into the hands of Minister King. All right, so we're going to close out. I Hopefully, uh, does anybody want prayer? 
wherever you, you know, I mean, if you want prayer, you can stay where you are. You can stand and we'll pray for you on tonight. If you want the Lord to, if you want the Lord to, you know, touch you, if you're dealing with some things in your mind, if you're dealing with some things in your heart, if you're directionless on tonight, we'll pray that the Lord will open up your understanding and lead you in the way that he wants you to go. Anybody else? pray for the sister matter of fact let us all stand let's all stand we're gonna pray and we're gonna close out on tonight we thank you all for coming on we thank you all for coming on out today we pray something was said we pray you seen or you heard something that will encourage your way in the lord let us all bow our heads and pray father in the name of jesus christ we thank you for life health and strength lord we thank you oh god for being so mindful of, of us tonight we thank you oh god for your long suffering toward us Oh, God, you know how pitiful we are. Oh, Lord, we are nothing without you. Oh, Lord, we need you every day, oh, God. Oh, Lord, you know the things that we're dealing with in our minds, oh, God. Oh, Lord, you know our heart's condition. You know all the things that we have laid before you, oh, God. We ask you, oh, Lord, to send strength in your, from your sanctuary. Oh, God, strengthen us where we are weak. Build us up where we are bowed down, Father. You know, oh, God, that we don't know which way to go, oh, God. We're looking for answers. Oh, Lord, we're looking for direction. We're looking for, oh, Lord, we're looking for you to strengthen us that we may continue to fight this good fight of faith. Lord Jesus, we look unto you because we know that you are able to do something about our situation. We know, oh, God, that you are able to lead the way. Oh, God, we are helpless. Oh, God, we cannot do this on our own, oh, Lord. We thank you for the word that you sent tonight, reminding us that your word is the key to our success. Your word is the key to our strength. Your word is the key for us to be saved, oh Father. And for that, we thank you. We praise you. We bless your name, oh God. And as we depart from your house, we ask you to give us traveling mercies. Back to our appointed places, oh God. Protect us on every side. Keep us from all hurt, harm, or danger. Bless us, oh God. And we thank you and we lift up your name. And we praise you. In the name of Jesus Christ and all the people say, amen. God bless you on tonight.